wonder who has my phone. Just talking while you're fiddling. So I can focus. Do you have my head? Do you put your book in front of you? Pull right up against your chest. Hi, I'm Jennifer with Be Free Gluten Free Bakery, and today we're going to make some waffles for breakfast. Michael and I have just come from the gym, and we are hungry, and so are our four teenage boys. So I thought waffles would be a perfect breakfast treat for the Saturday morning. So first, we're going to start off with some um, dry ingredients. We've got um, our Be Free Gluten Free flour, which is a combination of five different flours, and to that we're going to add Progenix. Um, tropical vanilla um, recovery protein mix and this is our featured ingredient today so you're going to see how easy it is to um, combine um, Progenix with a gluten-free um, baking mix and then we've also got um, some sea salt a little bit of baking powder and baking soda so they'll be nice and um, fluffy in the middle um, so those are our dry ingredients we're going to whisk them all up together, and what you'll notice in this um, powdery mix is that it's very fine. Um, the progenics mix is very fine and powdery, and so are the flours that we use for our mix. So you get a bit of dust, so, so use care when you're whisking your dry ingredients. All right, now we're, we have some wet ingredients um, to, to whisk together. We've got um, original flavor coconut milk. And to that we'll add um, two free-range organic eggs that we've are already whisked just a tad. And we've got um, Expeller Press Coconut Oil, which does not have a coconutty flavor. So if you're worried about too much coconut flavor, you won't have that in this oil. Um, the juice of half of a lemon. And we'll whisk that all together. And then we'll add it to the dry ingredients. And you'll notice that we're only using two, two bowls here. So, it's, so the process is super simple and the cleanup is super simple as well, which I always like. So the wet ingredients are going to go into the dry ingredients. And we'll give it a stir until all of the dry ingredients are incorporated into the, mix, into the wet ingredients. And then we will add it to our preheated waffle maker. It is a little lumpy to begin with, but those lumps work their way out. If you like to use a whisk, you can use a whisk once you get everything a little bit incorporated. Otherwise, it, it um, clogs up your whisk and it just really makes a big mess. So, a whisk is a beautiful kitchen tool. Makes your job a lot easier and a lot quicker. So look at that. There's your batter. And we are ready to put the batter into the preheated waffle maker. One, one tip I wanted to share with you really quickly is that the waffle maker needs a release agent so that um, they, your waffles will come out nice and easily. I love to use coconut oil on a paper towel. I just spoon a little bit on there and wipe it on your um, waffle maker. It works nicely for baking as well, so it's just a quick little tip. 
And here's my other handy tip for the day. A scooper like this is a beautiful tool for the kitchen. It makes your job efficient, nice proportion sizes each time. You don't have to worry about um, spreading out the batter. You just close the lid and the lid will do the rest of the work. So in minutes, we'll be eating a nice delicious waffle breakfast. Now the moment of truth. We open the waffle maker and ta-da! Oh, look at that. Gorgeous waffles. Ooh, nice crispy on the outside. Mmm, I can't wait to take a bite. I wanted to show you a couple um, ideas of, of ways that we like to eat waffles here in the Weesey House. I like mine to, um, topped with just a little bit of, um, or a lot, of vanilla yogurt. Um, a little bit, here's an idea too. Um, Be free warrior cereal is delicious crumbled on top of your waffles gives it a little nutty flavor a little extra honey maybe a couple blueberries and a little bit of maple syrup i know you're hungry too all right let's taste it and see how it see how it fares Okay, this isn't going so good. Delicious. Be free and progenics. A delicious combination.